Hey guys, it's Hafei back again. This is the finale of the year-long Project Pan Roulette collab that I was doing with Zelma, Connie, and Leah. Liz was doing it for a while, but she pulled out. Uh, Connie had some trouble, so she kind of didn't do as many, but mainly uh, Zelma and I, and with Leah coming in occasionally. Um, yeah, we <laughs> managed to get through a whole year. Happy birthday to Connie. That, of course, is the reason that we did this when she started on her birthday last year and we've worked until her birthday this year. So I think it has been pretty successful for me. I have used up a few products, I've decluttered a few products and yeah so I am pretty happy. So I'm actually going to go through everything from the first ones I picked and finished, um, everything that I picked and tell you what I think, um, what my plan is for that particular product going forward. So the first one is the Avon Bronzing Glow Pearls. Um, this is a super old product. I've had this for years and years and years. And I was getting really frustrated because it didn't seem to be going anywhere. So I decided that I was going to crush them all up and then repress them into one to see if I could like see more progress or whatever. Only problem was is that doing that it's like the pigmentation went completely. It was already fairly subtle and it just seemed to go completely. Um, and it basically formed a hard pan. So I literally had to scrape it in order to get anywhere with it. And basically I was super frustrated. But as I said, I've had this for years and I feel like I more than got my money's worth out of this one. This is one item that will be decluttered. This is the last anyone will see of this one, uh, except for when I do the empties video, clearly. Um, <laughs> the next one is a product I would only buy on sale, and that was the Sesh Vite, um, I got the big bottle of it, I have used all of that up, um, I had already repurchased another one, uh, there are some shrinkage issues with Sesh Vite, but not enough to actually stop me from using it. Um, it might be because I generally don't keep manicure, manicures on for an extraordinarily long time, so not a big deal for me. Um, next one was your oldest blush to hit pan. That was the Maybelline Wild Blossom. I did not hit pan. I did thin it around the edges. I mean, probably if I'd worn this every single day for a whole year, I probably would have. Um, but I did flatten out <coughs> the dome on it does not want to focus. Um, I will insert, if I can locate them, I will insert pictures of what the products looked like when I started and what they look like now just to give you a better idea. This is just going to go back in my collection. It's fine. It might be a bit older but it still works fine. It doesn't smell funny. It hasn't lost any pigmentation. So I'm not going to throw it away for no decent reason. The next product was the BYS HD powder. I finished all this up. I've actually repurposed this container and it now has the Physician's Formula Mineral Veil in it. But I did use all of that up. I would consider repurchasing this one at a later date when I don't have a pile of powders to work through. We had the highlighter to hit pan. Um, this is the Natio Enhancer. This had actually broken ages and ages ago and it had been repressed. But as you can see, there is pan in that. I basically stopped using it once I hit pan. Um, this will go back into my collection. I actually quite like this one. So this one might get used sooner rather than later. I have a coloured eyeliner. This is the Rimmel Scandalize in bright blue, which really is bright blue. Um, I will just... It doesn't look too much different. I think I only used it once and I haven't sharpened it. It probably needs sharpening. It will just go back into my collection. I'm not going to get rid of that one. So, when I started... I was all the way up here and I'm down 
there now. Um, which doesn't look like a lot of use for 12 months, but as I usually only used it to line underneath my eyes and I don't wear makeup every day, it's not so bad. In my eyes, anyway. Then we had the Australis Makeup Finishing Mist. This is all gone. I have bought another bottle which I have started working on. I think this is actually my third bottle. Like the one I'm using now is my third bottle. Um, yeah, so I quite like this one. Although the mister on this one seems to work better than the mister on the other one. Not really sure why. I could transfer it, but I'm not going to. Uh, then we had the Pond's BB Age Miracle, which I used all up. I really love this stuff. This is the, um, this is in light. These are virtually impossible to get, um, unless you live in other places other than Australia. Um, I think you can still get the whitening one in America. You can't get the BB, the Age one, I don't think. But I loved this stuff. This was like, was my go-to. So if I could repurchase it, I certainly would. And then there was the Elf Lip Exfoliator. This is the original one. Um, it is all used up. I want to try out the peppermint one or the I think it's strawberry one. And they do have it now in Australia. I did see it. Didn't buy it, but I did see it. I have some other exfoliators to use up first. Then we have the Nivea Night Cream. Another one that is all used up. Quite like Nivea probably would buy it again. Not a bad product. We have the Kmart branded face primer. I decluttered this. This is still like full up to about here. Did not really like this one at all and I really don't think it did anything in particular. The Eleven Miracle hair treatment. This took me ages to finish. I did really enjoy this one. I think it is actually quite a nice um, hair treatment. I, I mean, I have coloured hair, so treatments always are a good idea. Um, I got this in a subscription box. It's actually fairly pricey, I believe. So I don't know that I would buy it again, but if I got another um, bottle of it for free, I would use it. The next one was a product that smells good, and that was the Suki um, Exfoliator, which was in this jar, but it's not anymore. There's a luminizer in there. Um, I used it all up. I quite liked it. Good product. Um, I would probably use it again if um, I got sent a sample of it. I don't know that I'd go and buy it necessarily, but it was good. Product that you will always rebuy. Cuticle oil. This one happens to be the Manicare one. This one was fine, far better than the Essie one. Um, yeah, I would probably rebuy this one. <coughs> then we have another product which isn't finished but will not be going anywhere. Probably, well, mm, actually, no, I think I probably will declutter it. This is the Cargo Lip Gloss in Sahara. I was all the way up here when we started and I'm about there now but this has had a solid year of use I used it pretty consistently over the year um, if I used it a bit more consistently I probably would have finished it um, there's not a huge amount left this came in a lip monthly so um, I probably wouldn't buy it again because as far as I'm concerned lip glosses are a dime a dozen um, it's a nice enough product though, so, but yeah, I am going to declutter this one. It has had a good old go. It's going to mark the ones I'm decluttering, just so I remember. Then we had the Urban Skincare Co. Infused Body Balm. This is just a body cream. There's nothing amazing about it smelled kind of okay slightly citrusy which I like but almost a little bit too close to fly spray citrus not such a big fan of that but it's fine I wouldn't buy it though it's pretty expensive for what it is 
uh, the favourite highlighter to hit pan. This was the Lorac Perfectly Lit. Um, the pan in this is ridiculously tiny and you may not be able to see it. It is there. You can see it right there. Um, I mainly, as soon as I hit that goal, I pretty much took it out because I had so much other stuff to actually work on it. I, was, I had several in different projects, um, but I would continue to use this. Um, it will just go back in my stash and be um, uh, used later on, but I did uh, use it all up. Uh, then there was the eyeshadow from the LAC... Uh, what's it called? Blushing Nudes palette, which was this one here. Um, at one point, I did repress it into something else with another shadow, which was virtually identical. And both of them ended up getting used up, so that one got used up. Obviously, I'm going to keep the rest of the palette. The Natural Instincts Eye Cream. Um, we are now down to here. There's where we have finished. I probably would have finished this. This wasn't in for the whole project. This was brought in at a later date. Um, I probably would have finished it if I used it like twice a day, but I generally only use it once a day. You don't need very much. And this is a ridiculously large eye cream. <laughs> um, I will probably keep on using it. Um, maybe only until the end of the year. I'll probably declutter it at the end of the year because it will have been open for... Um, quite a bit of time and this does say 12 months I'm not sure if it's been open 12 months though. so I might try to finish it up like, as I said I'm down here so we will see <laughs> not 100% sure on that one yet uh, we have the Anika face primer I have no idea where I am in this I haven't finished it um, I stopped kind of using it for a little while because I found if I used because uh, like, I'm trying to use up a little sample of the Benefit Professional. I found if I used that, the Professional, in just like my T-zone area, and then used this, it's like anywhere where the two of them touched didn't really work, and I found that the Professional seemed to work better if I put it all over my face, not just like in spots. I don't know why, that's just what I found. Um, so this one will just go back into... Uh, I'll probably start using it again when I've finished off the professional. Then we have the product that was out of my comfort zone. This is the Rimmel number 45 um, lipstick. As you can see, I did not finish this. I did use it relatively consistently for quite a bit of time. I'll just see if it looks any different to last month, which it probably doesn't. Yeah, not really. <laughs> but um, I will try to find a picture of what it looked like when I started. Um, but this, this is just a basic guideline of how much I used. I don't, when I use lipstick, I don't tend to reapply, so... Um, I probably don't go through them as fast as some people. Um, then we had the Lacura Deep Cleansing Seaweed Facial Scrub. This was pretty good. Um, it wasn't great, it wasn't terrible. It was pretty good. Um, I probably would buy it again. Um, especially as I shop at Audi all the time, and that one's an Audi brand. We have the designer brands eye primer. I am going to declutter this item. I have had it for ages and I really, I don't think it does anything special. Um, I don't think my eyeshadow lasts any better than it does without primer, quite frankly. Um, yeah, so this is another one which will be decluttered. The colourful eye product was one that ended up getting ditched because it broke. This is the Torina Tarantino in uh, purple velvet, which is this weird one where you have like this spongy thing and the product is just that bit there, just the, that little bit in the container bit there. And you have all of this. Um, 
I wasn't hugely keen on it anyway. This was another thing that came in a... I'm sure this came in a lip monthly or something like that. Um, yeah, but it broke and I can't get it to stay closed. So that was one that got decluttered. The favourite product from Category of Choice was my <laughs> beloved uh, Grace Cole Pineapple Passion Fruit Hand Lotion. We are now down there. So we made a bit more progress this month. Um, I used it a little bit more. There's, you know, there's still a bit going. Um, and I'm just going to use it until it's finished. It's, I like it. I like the way it smells. It seems nice. So. Then we have the NYX HD Finishing Powder, which is, I basically just use it underneath my eyes, so it's not like it gets a huge workout or anything. Um, it pretty much doesn't look like it's moved from last month. Uh, it's probably just because I use it underneath my eyes. But now it doesn't do, if I flatten it out this way, it's... Um, well below the cap thing but I will just keep on using that one until it's finished off it'll take a while because I'm only using it underneath my eyes the product I'm not sure of the Modico More Brows I actually really like this so I was kind of surprised I didn't think I would um, it's got a little bit of fibre in it it's basically like a brow mascara little teeny tiny little brush um, yeah, I'm going to keep on using this until it doesn't work anymore. The favourite perfume, which wasn't my favourite perfume, it was just the perfume I was using up. This is Bronze Goddess from um, Estee Lauder. There's a little sample. I used all of that up. The mascara was the Rimmel Scandalize Reloaded. I did not like this. I... I wore it for basically a month and there's still heaps in it, but I did not like this mascara at all. And I wasn't going to waste my time and energy, so I got decluttered. The next one was a metallic product, which was the um, Orly Masked Ceremony. I honestly did not use this at all in the whole time it was in the project. It just wasn't something that I was reaching for. It didn't fit with the manicures and stuff that I was actually doing. So yeah, it, it hasn't had any progress on it. It looks exactly the same. But it'll just go back in the collection, clearly. Uh, the La Cura Lift Serum, little sample, clearly used up. The product that I had already hit pan on was the LOL blush. As you can see, um, I expanded the pan. Um, I will insert a picture of what it looked like when I started. Uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Clearly I have used some. Um, I will insert a picture again of this one where it was when I started so you can see a not huge amount of progress but I have certainly used it because um, I just use a little bit just to um, colour correct the really dark circle bit. The product I wouldn't repurchase because I have three of them is the AC Contour Kit. I'm not 100% on this. Um, I think this might go back in my collection for a while. I don't mind this highlighter. Not that one. This one. This highlighter. It's actually very similar to the other two that were in this collection. Um, in this project, the colours tend to end up looking just a little bit dirty on me. The browns. And I'm not a huge fan of that. I might pull it out some stage to use them as eyeshadows. They're, you know, they're nicely... A nice amount of pigment on them. The colours are just... They just don't really work for me. A bit too dark and this is not the light one though. I would have to try the light one out to see how it compares to this one. But um, yeah, this one's just going to go back in the collection for now. I may decide later on to declutter it or give it away or I don't know, 
I give it to my daughter or something. Then we had the Aveen cleanser, which I put in last time. I have used all of this up. It was nice. It wasn't great. It wasn't as, it's not as good as the Lacura um, pink grapefruit um, foaming cleanser that I've been using. It's one of those ones that when you pump it, it comes out as foam, but it's not foam in the bottle. That stuff's really, really good. It smells great too. But uh, that one actually removes eye makeup really effectively. So, um, yeah, it was okay. It wasn't great or anything. And then we have the Lacura Moisture Serum. I am almost done with all of the samples that I got in my Christmas Advent box last year. <laughs> this one I finished this morning when I was getting ready. And the last thing was the cruelty free product, which was this Anika eye pencil. I am using it today to do my waterline. I have sharpened it once. Not a huge amount of progress. Um, this will just go back in the collection. So I finished or hit my goal on 25 products over the course of the year, which you know, is, is not too bad. Um, I did end up picking 38 products in all, so I think I did pretty good. I mean, could I have done better? Well, of course. And There's another product that I forgot. <laughs> Uh, was the Clean Colour Lipstick in uh, Sealed Secret, which I took out of the project because I simply wasn't using it. I'm actually going to declutter this one because I really don't like it that much. Um, it has a very, very strong smell um, and it is so creamy for a colour that dark, it just doesn't stay. So um, yeah, that was one of the, the 25. I just forgot to do it. Um, yeah, so that is everything. Um, I will be doing a um, empties when I will end up um, putting some kind of value on all of this and working out how much I um, used up and if I manage to do that before I put this video up I will actually uh, give you a price amount at the end of this. So that is it for this video and for this collaboration. If you want to check out all the, well, you need to really just just do it. Go and check out the others. Leave me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. If you want to subscribe, click the button down below and leave me a comment. I try to re reply to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.